In a small town where the paint's dry and slow There's a YouTuber, Jesco Studios, the name they know With a Kurataki granulating watercolors It has taken a very long time for me to get my hands on these uh, a, they've got they they were out of stock, then they got lost in the mail, and we finally got them. Um, we've got five colors. It looks like Aurora red, Aurora pink, Aurora orange, Aurora Aurora blue, Aurora violet. <laughs> Now that the, you know, Aurora is sounding weird to me that I've said it so many times now. So let's open these up. I have never used these. I don't know nothing about them. I don't know how they work. Let's open these up. Get in. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Voila. Check that out. First things first, um, we're missing, I mean, there's there's only five, but they have pl a place for a six color. They should have given us another color. I'm not going to hold it too much against them, but I mean, these were like $20 or something for this pack. And then they say, oh, this is something you can mix it. You can, this is an empty one that you can mix in. Like, come on, man, let's be real. Just give us another color. But. I'm a huge fan of Kuretake, so I'm not going to dog them too much. All right. So I'm guessing, let me just see. Yeah, okay, so this is this is the actual holder, which is just, just a, a hard cardboard. It's, it's weird. They don't look too much different just looking at the um, the dry pans. Now, I've heard that you have to really wet these to, to get them really flowing and get them looking good. So I'm going to take my... Hold on. Let's get that out of the way. I'm going to squirt this a little bit. Get them, get them, get them wet. Oh wow, they're already activating. Whoa, that's crazy. Like like they're already granulating or whatever you say. They're already separating. Alright, let's give it a shot. What brush should I use? I'm gonna go with the You know, I probably need to be set up right here a little bit. You guys can't see the, um, huh, let's, let's fix that. All right. All right. All right. Now. Okay. Now we're set up. Okay. So I've got everything set up. I've got it labeled. Um, I didn't write Aurora for everyone cause I didn't feel like it. This, these are all Aurora colors. That says rank. It's, it's supposed to say pink, and it's it's 104 degrees where I'm at today. So I'm dying. I'm dying. I've been outside, and I'm literally dying. So you have to excuse that. That says that means pink. Thank you. So what I'm gonna do first, we're gonna do a little swatch of each of these, and then I'm gonna do like a, a wet. I'm gonna do a little swatch. And then down here, I'm going to do a little wet, like wet on the wet part of it. So I've got my brush wet. That's not really a pink. I wouldn't think. It looks more like a purple to me. Like, I don't know. Like, they're pretty, but 
if you covered up the names, I would have never said orange. I would have never said blue for that. Would have never said pink for that and would have never named that one red. So this is the violet. This is the one I'm excited for right here. I'm a real sucker for um, vibrant violets. Look at that. That's worth the $20 right there. Oh yeah. yeah I'm gonna be doing a lot with this. Look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. Well, look at those. Let's just take a gander at that. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's get some, let's get a little bit of water down. Let's see what these bad boys look like with a lot of water. I've read that these do better with lots of water. Like I guess they're these are like two colors in one, and then when you the more water you use, they separate, kind of like that. I'm not, I don't I've never really used granulating watercolors, so I don't know much about them. I mostly use like the ones that just the ones that just flow. All right, let's get some water down. I see the blue now in the blue. Look at that. It's like orange on the bottom and blue on top. Uh, I mean, I wonder, are all granulating watercolors like two-toned watercolors? Like, do they have two different colors on? I've never used them. You know what I bet these would be good to use for? I bet these would look good. Uh, doing like galaxies and stuff and like night skies. I mean, can you guys see that? Hold on, let me see. Let me get this up to me. Look, there we go. We got the, we got the red, the red, we got the pink, the orange, the blue, the violet. I hope you guys can see that. We got the, uh, let me just, okay. There's the red, the, the pink, the orange, look at that. The blue, and the violet. Now the blue and violet haven't dried much at all. Look at the violet. Whoa, gosh, you probably can't see that because it's not dry. Okay, so what, oh. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these dry. Then we're going to come back and probably do maybe a galaxy. We might do a couple things. We might just do some galaxies though. Or some night skies. Alright, alright, I'll be back. Alright, so this is what we got here. Um, this is what I've done. There's the colors dried, you know. These are the ones that I put a lot of water in them. And, like, the, I let the middles dry first, not intentionally, but they did. And it kind of created this weird, like, excuse me. Kind of created this weird, like, geode effect, kind of, that I'm not, I'm not a super fan of, really. But this one, the blue didn't do that and that's because I sat here 
and kind of babysitted it. And look how pretty that is. And the 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 you know the violet, really pretty. So that's what you can see the difference. I mean, look at this, and then look at this. Same color, just this one had a lot more water in it that allowed it to granulate, and also I let it. I was babysitting it, so I didn't let one part dry first. So what I did was, since I liked that, and I didn't like the others too, is I went back. <laughs> And I try to do that with all the colors and I babysit them and look now you can kind of see red pink orange violet and blue you know you can kind of see what they're talking about now and you can see what these colors are capable of look at the violet man ain't that pretty so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to see how I'm going to attempt to um, paint a galaxy. So it's been a while since I have painted a galaxy. I don't know how it's going to turn out. So matter of fact, hold on one second. Boom. You see how quickly I did that? You're impressed. You're very impressed. I'm impressed. So let's try to do some about three galaxies. Um, and night skies, maybe. So this one. This one, what should we do? I kind of want to just do straight violet. Straight violet. Straight violet. I really need something to prop up. Just use this for now. Let me just see. My thing is, I'm not prepared. I never start out, I just go completely on a whim. So I'm never really prepared for anything. That's my style. Oh no. There we go. Okay, okay. Coming along nicely. Ah, well, so the third one. Okay, so we did. That's that was. We didn't haven't done the orange yet. Okay, okay. So the third one's going to be a lot of the orange. Let's get this tape off and see what we got here. Wow, check that out. Look at that. Them some pretty little galaxies. Not too bad. Those turned out pretty good. So, one last look at the galaxies. I'm happy with those. 
so the these paints I mean of course it's my first day of using them but I, I'm really digging them I'm really doing I still think they're just a little bit pricey for uh, $20 for five paints but you know so far day one I'm digging them I'm gonna keep at them um, you'll probably see them in future videos they're really pretty if you if you do them right but guys thank you for watching um, hit that subscribe button if you have not I, I really like um, new subscribers please comment I'm not like a professional so if I did anything that you feel I did wrong today you know hook me up with some advice you know help a brother out but I appreciate everyone I love all of you I appreciate you watching and I will see you guys next time peace